So Sylvia uh, was created in Paris Opera in the 19th century and um, 1876 in Paris Opera. And it was also an uh, Italian ballerina who did the, the role of Sylvia, the premiere, Rita Sangali. And this ballet was quite um, successful at the premiere and was given for like um, several years. And we were jumping by generation of generation from ballet master. And I had the chance to see the version in Paris Opera, which was created by uh, Lisette d'Arsonval and uh, Violette Verdi. And uh, I was uh, young at that time and I really had um, great memory of these performances. I decided to do Sylvia because of that, because I remember this uh, beautiful performances I saw uh, in Paris Opera, and that was something for me. I said I should go in this uh, traditional classical ballet and maybe present a new, new version, new way of this Sylvia, because I thought this uh, title and this ballet has to, to, to stay alive. I tried to keep something with the tradition, which I learned from uh, ballet master, from choreographers, and also to have my own vision and what I want to present also to a new audience and a public of uh, our days now, because I love classical ballet, and I think it's a lot of people who also like to, to see this kind of um, ballet with set, with uh, huge uh, choreography, a lot of like uh, variation, solo, um, duo, and history also. I think it's important uh, not to have only um, contemporary ballet without any, just only with dancing, but also now we have a, this kind of ballet that have a strong story, which can also give um, a lot of inspiration and a lot of uh, things for, 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 for people, from, from a new generation of ballet lovers. The story of Sylvia is just about power and love. So I mean, it's something very universal and it's not old fashioned at all. Uh, it's also now I think good time. It's like the moment of, you know, like all the women, like, uh, preserve and show their power. And I think Sylvia, this is the best also time to show like women also have a place. And um, so I think, you know, it's very uh, actual. So somehow it's, it can be old fashioned, but it's not at all. And it's very universal uh, story of love and very important also um, with some, some characters with like with the, to mix also with the mythology, with the history and to make it something kind of fresh and like, uh, all people can understand like, like the meaning of, of, of this ballet now, which, which is very important. I think it's very modern. It's not like old-fashioned kitsch or whatever. I think it's something very like, uh, yeah, from, from a new generation, and also from the old generation who likes the, the old past and the, the, the old stories. The choreography is coming from, from the character, you know? Uh, there is like very strong character in the story. Um, Sylvia, I mean, the, the leading roles, but not only her. Uh, Eros, who is like the, the, the one who guides all the ballet and who is like uh, uh, taking all the, 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 um, the story of each character. I mean, all the, the characters are very strong and give this, uh, this uh, story. And you know, also you have like human people, like, uh, like God, half God. It's very complicated. And you know, this association, it's also like um, makes something fantastic because also you, you know this kind of power between the, the, the relation of the characters. And Sylvia, she's, it's absolutely, she's uh, ice cold at the beginning, very strong. And she, uh, she just arrived and at the end, she just completely like uh, changed. She's, she's a woman, she fell in love. And, and it's ju just this, this changing can show a lot of things, personality about characters and life in general. It's, it's, it's very important also for me, like if you don't read the program at all, like you can understand the story. And if you see the way I choreograph uh, each character, they have all their own way to move, the dynamic of movement. Um, Sylvia, she's very strong, like active, uh, um, sparkling and like, uh, yeah, powerful. You have uh, Eros who is moving with um, sensuality, with um, softness with power. You have Aminta, who is a fresh uh, uh, man, uh, just like uh, thinking about love and uh, joyful. So in the choreography, the steps are more like romantic. Or, and you have Diane also, which is a little bit similar than Sylvia. Um, and Orion, who is the bad guy of the story. I mean, it's all the ballet and all the story, there is always one bad guy. But which is very important is this maybe relation with the characters who are not human. 
you know, so it gives like a um, special power. I start the process to work with the dancers of La Scala already uh, last July. I really appreciate the way they were like listening and were very open also to new work and also their ability to, um, because they have a great technique also, so, so they can really make all these technical uh, steps and choreography immediately in um, them, like, like immediately in their hands. And on the top of that, to build really like the character of each, each uh, roles and to bring them to, to something like it's just not only a demonstration of a technique, but also like they, they really can drive their own personality, their own character to, to, to the right point. But they are really like um, very talented, very open, open mind. And it's it's great pleasure to work here also uh, for me. Theater, which I know because I was also dancing here. And I'm so happy to have like, to find like a, a new generation of dancers who are like very talented and really open to, to, to give the best. In this ballet, you, you can see so many things. Yeah, there, there is for sure this mythology and all these characters who, who can like, uh, take you in another world. But beside of that, there is like, a, um, a huge amount of divertissement, dancing, like using the music, um, uh, some apparition, disparition, the, 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 this grandiose uh, set, uh, light. It's, it's a big divertissement. It's something like uh, when you're young or old, you can really dream, I mean, to, to watch this. But there is no age to, to look this kind, this kind of, of production. But this kind of mix of everything, and you have a lot of... Uh, uh, different feelings, but it's really a great divertissement and uh, yeah, and, and I think important ballet in the in the, in the, the panorama of uh, you know beside this uh, Nutcracker, Swan Lake, and all these famous ballet we always know. Sylvia maybe at dif as a different place. We know this ballet a little bit less, but somehow it deserves like the, the the same attention. Absolutely.